Hello. Welcome to today's tutorial video, where we'll be making a 3D wall panel of mountains using the wall framing. To show you the method, I'm going to delete the pre-created wall covering. I will work on the floor plan, so I activate it. In the building menu, wall property, I set the properties of the wall framing. The height is 3000 mm, the thickness is 20 mm. This is where the studs will be placed, which you can see at the beginning of the video. I click on the wall framing button and set the studs. I choose the E, inner stud, then I set the cross section and the sizes. I click on the pencil icon to change the cross section of the stud. I turn off the uniform 3D scaling operation, then I rewrite the width and height to 20 mm. I hit OK. I set the distance from the wall to the stud. By default, it is positioned in the wall, but now we need it to be in front of the wall. The offset can be set in the other offsets, it will be 20 mm. We need to set the spacing between the balusters. The little illustration will help you with this. The D is the clear spacing, which is the distance between the elements. The S is the center to center spacing. I specify the clear spacing. The distance between balusters will be 250 mm. We need to specify the material of the studs, which we can do in the cross section above. I have already prepared a dark blue material, I choose it, and hit OK. It's important to disallow the wall joins, the wall status field must be checked. I also need to adjust the wall materials. I select the same dark blue. I accept it with the OK. Using the wall command in the building menu, we can start drawing the walls. First I draw the back wall. I enter its first point and then its end point. In 3D you can see that the wall is finished. Our next task is to draw the front profile of the wall. To do this, I have drawn the shape of the mountains. I did this using the drafting menu, spline command. To edit the wall's front profile, right-click on the wall and select Reshape, Add Whole Front Profile. I get a layout of the wall, which I place to the pre-drawn spline. With the closed loop, click on inner point of an area command I click in this area and the program creates the wall's front profile. Let's take a look at the 3D view. We see that the wall covering is finished. I want to create another lower covering. I will do the same steps. I will create the wall using the building menu wall tool. I will place it on the floor plan. I edit the front profile of the wall. I right click on it and select reshape, add whole front profile. I place it on the pre-drawn spline, then select closed loop, click on inner point of an area command. I click in the area. The lower wall covering is complete. Let's see it in 3D. If you want, you can increase the height with the blue arrow or change the relative height in the properties on the right. When it's ready, place some LED light strips behind the wall panels. I go back to the floor plan and select interior, lighting, LED light strip. Here I can also use the pre-drawn spline for the wall coverings. I choose the select an item command and click on the first spline. I change the orientation to vertical. On the left, I can set the light intensity, the dimming level, which will be 50%, and the color of the light. Once that's done, I'll accept it with OK, so the first LED light strip is created. It's important if the position of the strip is not correct, then mirror it. I mirror it along the axis, then use the move from command, to insert it behind the wall panel. I need to specify the base elevation, which will be 1700 mm. Let's see in 3D exactly where it should be placed. I need to move it down, so in 3D I move it down with the blue arrow, move command. 
The base elevation is 1,504 mm, I'll rewrite this to 1,500 mm, to get an exact value. Make the lead light strip behind the other wall in the same way. Go back to the floor plan, go to interior, lighting, lead light strip and select select an item. I select the spline, select the vertical orientation, set the dimming level to 50% and choose the color of the light. I also mirror this with the rotation marker by specifying the axis of the mirroring. Using the move from command, I place it behind the first wall panel. I set the base elevation to 950 mm. The second LED light strip is in place, behind the wall covering. This brings us to the end of today's video. I hope it was useful for you. You can see the final result in the following layout. Thank you very much for joining me, have a great day, bye.